What's up? All right, hopefully we don't have any more background noise in this video. Mmm. I'm gonna make this quick. Today we're gonna be review. Oh. I'm gonna make this quick. Want to get into the jokes real soon? We're gonna be reviewing Sylvester Stallone's watch collection. He's got a pretty awful taste in watches. By the way, if you want any watches or jewelry and you want somebody to help you pick out a better selection than this guy, go to Instagram and shoot me a DM at adjacentjeweler or at luxurylovers. I'll have them both pinned up in the screen and in the description. We also do hats, $30 hat. Slide in the DMs for that too. All right, sick, let's get on to the video. I wanted something different for the last Expendables, something incredibly unique, and this certainly is. So I called Rashad Mill and I said, hey, what do you think? And he goes, really? I go, absolutely. Right off the gate, we're starting with the circular Richard Mill. Really goes downhill from here, but you're already starting at the bottom, so it really sucks. He called Richard Mill himself up, and even Richard Mill is surprised that he sold one of these circular ones. That's crazy. I wore it, and we used the red straps in there. It's so obvious and so extraordinary in the film. Well, that's one way to put it. So extraordinary in the film. People were constantly mentioning this watch. I think it got more attention than I did after the film. It just was a dude. It got more attention during the filming and after the film than you got in the whole process because I can watch faces bigger than your own face. God damn. All those battle scenes, all those uh, extraordinary stunts. This is what I was wearing. Dude, I'm telling you, extraordinary stunts is not where this watch is going to have the most difficulty. You should see shit in the sales floor. Hell no. Dude, what the f*** is his son doing? Bruh, that's tough. Fuck, I gotta keep my hand up there the whole time? Nope, nope. It's an unbelievable piece. Every time I wear this watch, people, oh my god. How is it possible you have a tourbillon behind the skull? I said, because Richard Mill's a genius. That's why. I a lot of people ask me every day. Just come up in swarms. They ask me. How is it possible you put a chicken nugget in front of a tourbillon movement? Because Mill's a genius. That's why. I so badly. And they said, well, they're pretty much gone. They're that rare. I think they only did a few of them. So I ended up contacting Richard Mill himself. And he's such a gentleman. He found the last one. That's what they said about the circular ones, too. He called them, hey, I want this watch. Oh, they're pretty much gone. We tossed them in the bin a month ago because they wouldn't fucking sell. Let me just say, this guy does a lot of contacting Richard Mill himself. And somehow, he's ended up with some of the worst selection with the, of them. Um, which is pretty impressive. I'll give it to him, the skull is pretty cool. But that's where it ends, for his cool factor on his Richard Mills. Okay, let's keep going. I've worn this thing with pride. It's... I still have mixed feelings about giving it up. Worn the thing with, with pride. That's... That's more than you can say about the circular ones, isn't it? This watch was designed by Richard Mill on the basis of speed. It's named after a world-class sprinter. Oh my god, you want to talk about fast, my friend? You should see how fast those circular ones depreciated. Holy crap! <laughs> and I have to say that this watch is probably the only watch that looks like it's moving when it's standing still, the Johan Blake. I mean, it looks fast. It's like an animal. The only watch that looks like it's moving when it's standing still. The other watches look like they're moving when they're headed towards the fucking bin because that's where they're moving to. They're going straight in the bin. This is a real piece of This is the RM025. Richard said he was going to design this based on action movies, Rambo, Jungle, for explorers. Yeah, this watch is for explorers. It's great for people who want to explore the territory of the only depreciating Richard Mill models, the circular ones. The circular ones. The circular ones. Open it up. There it is. Incredible. And then, <laughs> it just keeps going. It, <laughs> it just keeps going. That's what we're all saying about the depreciation in the secondhand market for these things. It's like a Maserati Ghibli. It just keeps going down and down the tube. I don't even know. I don't care. I can't find it anymore. I can't find it anymore. It's so down the hole, you can't even see that anymore.
In other words, you would have to be a real amateur to get lost in the jungle with this watch, <laughs> okay? If you can't find your way out with this, then don't go to the jungle. Oh, man. He's got the magnifying shits and everything. You'd be an amateur to get lost wearing that watch, huh? Is that right? Well, you gotta be a real fucking skillful person to be able to find a sense of style when you're wearing that piece of shit. I'll tell you that right now. If you want to find an outfit that looks good with that thing, you're gonna be searching for ages, and that magnifying glass piece of shit isn't gonna help at all. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video as the light becomes unbearably presentable in our shot here while we're all the way over but the light is still seeping through that window that is great leave a like uh, leave a comment if you want you don't know what to say in the comments just drop me a laughing emoji and I'll be happy I love to see those laughing emojis on these videos I love them if you haven't subscribed already definitely subscribe you know more bangers more bangers coming but yeah that's it leave a like and subscribe Leaving a like helps push the video out to more people, so that would be greatly appreciated. Alright, thanks for watching this. This thing. That's what's up. Lesson learned. Might have to record these at night. Might have to record these at night. Oh, there it is.